Um, since we're gonna big up some Italians. Yeah. Oh, like that little segue. Look at his little smiley face. Was he? You weren't out there celebrating with Zlatan in the trophy parade? I was not celebrating in from a BFF. distance. BFF, celebrating from a distance. Um, Rafael Leao. Let's talk about him. He seems to be a, a hot target, being linked as well with Real Madrid. Uh, tell us more about him. Well, I mean, look, when you've got a whole bunch of young players who are good and talented, they will be linked with other teams. Rafael Leao was on the wing. I think his his skill set was obvious. Um, I think this is the season where it really, probably about halfway through the season, it really started coming together. He scored some important goals. Uh, he's incredibly unselfish as well. Uh, he set up a lot of goals. And, you know, he's got pace. He's got dribbling ability. He's got unpredictability. And I think that's why people have been excited about him uh, really since his days at Lille when he was mm -hmm. the hottest prospect on the team. To Real Madrid, does that make sense? Uh, I'm not sure he's at that level yet, but he's a bit like Vinicius Jr. in certain ways because Vinicius Jr., two years ago, or not last season, the season before, made all the wrong decisions. He had great pace, went past people. Leal does a lot of good things, but every so often his final ball, his final decision hasn't been quite good enough. If he can match that to his general build-up play and his pace and his ability to go past people, he'll be a top-class player. Gab, what are you hearing about this potential deal? I think Milan are, Milan's the official line for Milan is we want to hang on to all our best players, right? They're already losing Frank Kessi, who has not extended his contract, is going to Barcelona. But equally, and there are other things in the background because the club is uh, up for sale uh, as well. They're negotiating with different parties, so that could all change again. But I think their attitude is we bought these youngsters, and if the, if the price mm. comes along and it's the right price... You know, the, these guys are the type of people who think that, you know, there's no bad assets, only bad prices, and there's no good assets, but only good prices. So if Could they you explain that again? <laughs> basically, what it means is if you offer enough money, if you offer more money for Leao than Milan think that Leao is worth, and they think they can get a replacement, I think they'd be ready to, to pull the trigger. Um, so... I think he's in the mix. And I think this is true for, for most Milan players. Doesn't mean he's definitely going to go, Milan fans. Chill out, okay? Breathe. Because they also think if he continues developing like this, in a year or two's time, he could be one of the top players in the world. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.